Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Now we continue to look at the uh, report for the companies. How do uh, these companies report on their CSR activities? So, uh, you can go to Bursa Malaysia. So, uh, previously I've shown you about the listing directory. So, you can go to the listed companies because listed companies, they are required to prepare their annual reports. They are compulsory. You can go to, for example, you can go to any of these companies. Just take, for example, we go to the uh, Sime Dhabi Plantation. So, you know, uh, some companies, they have this S and some companies, they don't have this S small, this uh, in parentheses, the S. So, basically, what does this S mean? It's just for your knowledge that S is the uh, Sharia compliance company, whereas the those companies that uh, you do not have S is not a Sharia compliance. So, just take, for example, we go to Sime Dhabi Plantation, Berhad. So from there, you can, you, I'm not uh, concerning about the share prices and so on, but I just want to highlight to you about, you can go to the company's uh, website or you can go to the annual report. Okay, you can go to the, if you go to the annual report, you can get the annual report of these companies. Okay, you can choose which year. Okay, and then you can get the uh, annual report of the company for the, the, this one, you have the latest 2020. Okay, or you can go to the company's website to get the, um, the uh, some companies, okay, they have their uh, independent report. What do I mean by independent report? They have a separate report from the, uh, from the annual report, okay? So, you can get, uh, you can, uh, some of the, these companies, they have uh, the sustainability report inside their annual report. So you can go to the company's website normally under the investor relation so under the investor relation you can get this one you can get the annual reports okay annual reports for 2020 you can download the annual reports okay or you can get the past annual reports from here from the company's website okay and some companies they also have the independent report that means you have a standalone sustainability report so, if you see here, you have the Sime Dhabi Plantation. This is your annual report for 2020. Okay, so you can go to the, uh, uh, the content. Okay, here you can see that uh, reporting framework. This report has been prepared in accordance with the, inter okay, this one, integrated report. Okay, that. the report is also aligned to the Global Reporting Initiative or the GRI. This one you can see. It is aligned with the GRI standards, okay, in addition to the SDGs and so on, uh, as well as the main market listing requirements of Bursa Malaysia Securities Berhad. So, they prepare this report, okay, in, in accordance with the GRI standards. We have seen just now the GRI standards. In the report, you can see there is a sustainability section and then what uh, what is it that they report? They report on the sustainability value creation, our commitment to transparency of our supply chain, our commitment to minimizing environmental harm, our commitment to human rights and decent work. So they do report on these items. Okay, so, these are, so if you, you want to know further, you can go and read on this report. You see, if you see, okay, in this report, they talk about the sustainable value creation. They talk about the, uh, they mention about their uh, blueprint and then about their commitments, about the company's commitment towards transparency of our supply chain and then the sustainability focus area and how does they link that to the United Nations SDGs, the Sustainability Development Goals here. Okay, uh, and then you have the, commitment towards the minimizing the environmental harm. Well, they, they, they focus on the climate change, energy management, biodiversity conservation and preservation. And then they talk about the human rights and decent work, respecting human rights, okay, responsibility recruitment, safe and healthy workplace. So you see companies do report on all these issues. Okay, so you can see how do these companies report on their sustainability activity? Next, they further report on their sustainability governance. So, our sustainability governance structure, okay, how do they report adapt, uh, adapting our annual audit to COVID-19 measures? Okay, what else? And then their commitment to the transparency of the supply chain, okay, and what else? Further, they mentioned about their commitment to minimizing the environmental harm. Okay.
and then about the climate change okay what 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 about the climate change um, okay they also report that it has uh, established a target of 40 percent reduction in carbon emissions intensity by 2030 so in 2020 they they record how much of the ghg emission the greenhouse gases emission so they report on that okay then this one the estimated carbon emission for 2020 okay uh, from where okay the sources so they do report on all these things so what have uh, they also explain about their commitment how they want to minimize the environmental harm during their, their plantation or their, during their agricultural activities okay so they also explain about their commitment towards biodiversity conservation and preservation okay they manage so they mention that okay i uh in terms of quanti uh, quantity in terms of they quantify okay the reforestation rehab of orangutan habitat what what have they not, the planted trees how many trees that they have planted they quantify that in certain values okay so they report on that their project okay all their uh what else okay, they, they report on this thing so total of uh planted trees uh, so they quantify that okay one mil 1 1.5 uh three one million okay okay what about the human rights so uh so they mentioned that approximately 4.5 million people are employed in its production in indonesia and malaysia alone so they they thought they they explain about their commitment they are providing job opportunities yeah okay and they are providing decent work to the people in malaysia and indonesia okay they, they report on that then do, they do mention that they respect their human rights they also have the recognition and awards okay so you see how these companies they report because the stakeholders want to know about their commitment so these companies they mentioned uh, up to now what have they done and what are uh, what are their next steps what are they going to do yeah also mentioned about their commitment to a responsible recruitment a safe and healthy workplace about the uh, is there any occup uh, occupational fatalities okay they uh, make a comparison in terms of the figures okay uh, Okay, they do mention about their uh, accident and fatality management. Okay, they mention about that, uh, the reasons for it. Okay, here, okay, human rights and decent work. Okay, continues lost time injury, lost time injury frequency rate. They do report on this. Okay, preventions of uh, unsafe conditions and actions. What 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 are the steps taken? Total lost days and total. Uh, recordable severity rate so they have all these figures they do mention they, they report on this so it's basically what are the things that companies need to report with regard to their CSR activities so they are being guided by guidelines so in this case you have seen just now uh, Sam Dhabi follows the GRI standards when they want to report on their CSR activities so here is an example whereby the company have an integrated sustainability report. So the sustainability section is included as part of their annual report. So you can see they, they are being guided on how to report based on the normally most companies. They are following the GRI guidelines on how to, and the specific detail on what are the things that they need to report for their CSR activities. Okay, with that, I thank you.